on guys welcome back to the channel you know who it is by now Jimothy. so ladies and gents we are back and i decided to show you guys my vanquish soul list that i went xo at locals with now the list is still under construction ladies and gents so there's a few things that i want to change a few tweaks there was a few cards that i couldn't get a hold of just before i went to locals so bear with me however this deck is very very close to the final build and i feel like with a little bit of more um like study of the meta game i can like perfect this and hopefully take it to nats and just like try and have a good showing for the deck anyway so without wasting any more time ladies and gents let's get straight into the list so starting us off this goes without saying triple raisin it is what it is he is the best card in the deck because it gets you going um triple uh heavy borga again some people people are playing two but i'm actually playing triple heavy borga along with the triple um caesar valley yes now and so obviously i've took inspiration from steven santoli's list and it makes a lot of sense so the idea behind it is just to kind of like burn some of the resources resources that your opponent has or the interactions that they have so at the moment there's a lot of targeted negation in the meta game so you like you're talking about like effect veilers ghost mourners infinite impermanences all those called cards target and they're very very prominent so with the bigger cards you can actually just like dodge a few of those hand traps um, and actually just get the opponent to just kind of like burn you and especially as this deck once it gets rolling in terms of card advantage is very very difficult to keep up because it's popping it's drawing it's burning so it's got a very very good grind game if if you can actually get the deck going and being able to dodge some of those interactions is really really important so argument that people say oh you might brick on this i haven't actually found that um once you get to raisin once you've got one normal summon you literally can just play the game for as long as you want to as long as you're managing your resources correctly and that's another reason why i like this deck it, it requires you to make it requires you to have a good matchup knowledge and make correct decisions because if you make an incorrect decision you just literally lose the game so it reminds me a little bit of sky striker but that is that for the big guys. Um, also playing double um, Dr. Madlov. I wish he had a better search target. I am actually playing Dust Devil again, um, but it's in the side. Um, so there are a couple of targets for her to search. However, Zhao Lan can do what she does, but just a whole lot better. But she is an additional normal summon, so it does help. There's five normal summons in this deck, and um, Raisin and her make up the normal summon quota. Uh, double Zhao Lang. This card is just, yeah, it's nice. Uh, uh, the effect to change your opponent's battle position is coming up more and more as I play this deck, especially with like people just being able to summon big, huge monsters. And this non targeting change in their battle position really, really does come up, as well as being able to put stuff in defense position that typically doesn't have a high attack. Um, sorry, a high defense stat. And there's very few monsters that have a 3k defense um, along with a big, huge attack. So having this ability to do that is really, really nice. Uh, and then obviously for the last one we've got one pantera she's at earth it does come up to pop a spell and trap forces out some negation again just that theory behind burning some of your opponent's resources and then obviously the other vanquish soul cards that we've got we've got vanquish soul fenrir as well as vanquish soul rise heart again this literally goes without saying so yeah there is an argument to put cash tira um um, Fenrir, sorry, Kashtira Scareclaw in here as well because it is an earth target and along with Fenrir can out some like problematic monsters like Dragoon for example but uh, it hasn't come up so yeah next on to the Vanquish Soul like spells and traps we've got one two three stake your soul which you will do <laughs> um goes without saying just eat Ellie for the deck uh one the vanquish soul continue and one snow devil snow devil's crazy this is the whole point you set this up early it puts your your opponent so far behind and especially with the borger burn if this resolves and you get a couple of borger burns in your opponent's definitely on a clock to be able to kind of like resolve the field and just kind of clear your board basically so yeah next on to the hand traps ladies and gents um two three ash blossoms you need fires in your hand um ash is obviously a fire uh just help to resolve some of your um your your effects basically um triple dimension shifter not so much of a brick in this deck mainly because of the attribute and obviously it's shifter now there are a few instances where i've shifted somebody and have resolved these cards which is bestial magnum or druce worm 
this is another problem for the deck because the normal summons are very light and there's no other ways to get monsters on board i felt like the drew swarms well the mag the, the bestials were really really strong and the main reason i put them in is because i couldn't find my other two durandals and um, so i thought you know what i'll just put the bestials in i was siding these anyway um but actually having them in the main deck actually kind of like facilitates some plays now it, there are a few instances where you can kind of like like shift that then bestial search and then you can actually search this card which is a little bit of a spicy tech that i decided to put in the deck which is iron dragon timerton um so timerton basically what it does is it summons itself when there's three cards in a column and then um once it's summoned on field it can you can activate its effect to destroy all cards within its column now you can put it in whatever column you got you want so what i typically tend to do with this card is i'll line up my um rocket of vanquisher a any main deck vanquish soul monster as well as the snow devil in one side and then on the other side i will just wait for my opponent to do something if they're playing snake eye for example wait till they summon i don't know snake eye ash uh, or whatever yeah and just pop that card in the extra monster zone column um, and what it does is it just locks them out so they're gonna have to have an extender and a way to clear iron dragon to Merton. now if they can't get over 2000 attack they're kind of locked out of the game and it's 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 a little bit gimmicky but it does work especially when you've got um uh, bestial magnum to search it if you need it. it it can actually resolve and in a simplified game state this card is an is a bit of a house so very very interesting tech right there next on to the spells uh just very very easy consistency spells triple part of prosperity goes without saying the one durandal i could not for the life of me find my other two copies um otherwise they would definitely be in there you do need to see raisin at all costs once you've seen your normal summon or you've seen raisin you are just good to go ladies and gents it's very very easy to play um one reinforcement of the army as well as the double cosmic cyclone and the one core by the grave um having some main deck um, back row removal is kind of imperative especially with the way that decks are playing right now there's so much coming from all different directions so it's good to have like a little bit of a, a, a main deck uh, option to remove some of those spells and traps um for the extra deck triple rock of the vanquisher is probably one of your most important extra deck pieces it's your engine i don't care what anybody's saying i'm playing three until the end of time you don't always need three you do always need two definitely need two um but i'm just playing three if anything you can hit one of prosperity but i tend not to mess with these because if it does turn into a grind game having access to all three is really important next so just some, literally the rest of it of the extra deck is just a toolbox option so one nightmare phoenix one heat of the fire charmer one dark dark charmer gloomy these two just facilitate this card which is sp little knight as well as uh, nightmare phoenix which is really really easy to go into and um, for the xyz's we've got battling boxer king dempsey we've got baguska we've got evil swarm exoton knight as well as the one abyss dweller again just coverage it's quite easy to make a rank four in this deck you do not need parallel exceed which is something that i was messing about with before that would just break your hand but you can actually make dweller any of these rank fours very very simply um for the zeus package you got one shakanine one bobo uh, and obviously zeus and then the final card is a typhon now i was actually running super poly at one stage but again i felt like super poly was negging my hand more than i wanted it to so i just decided against it and finally ladies and gents i wanted to show you my side deck because this is where you can have a little bit more flexibility but this card in general was absolutely amazing grave keepers inscription now if you don't know what it does it's got three eth effects um neither player can activate cards in the graveyard neither player can banish cards from the graveyard and neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard now i did have this in my exo sister deck because it literally just just stops your opponent from messing around with the graveyard depending on what they want to do with it um against snake eye arguably you'd probably hit the summon from the graveyard just because of flamberge uh, Promethean princess um that kind of thing but it's very flexible it has to be activated at the start of your main phase so make sure you keep that in mind ladies and gents so it's really really nice to have it's just yeah solid card uh next for the rest of the side i've got triple dark ruler no more this isn't the greatest of text but the reason why i put this in is because we have quite a lot of voiceless at our locals so this really really addresses voiceless uh, and it allows you to play um yeah goes without saying if i was going to nats i'd probably take the um, dark ruler no more out and put something else in triple evenly matched like i said we're just trying to reduce our opponent's resources 
and then out resource our opponent, burn them, attack them, finish the game off, um, and even if that helps you to do this, along with the double lightning storm, again, just some more removal, like, I am not messing around with back row, ladies and gents, I do not want to interact with it, I want it gone, and I want to be able to play the game. Um, the one dust devil, this is really interesting, helps against tempai a lot. Um, tempai will tend to try and, like, chain their, their effects, but Vanquish or Dust Devil does not target, so it targets your opponent, your, your own monster, and changes its battle position, and that's the, the, the cost that it is to activate this card, so um, yeah, it's really interesting, and it just books their monster, just simple as that. Uh, another Cosmic Cyclone to round out the three, like, back row removal is imperative, along with the double Phantasme, um, I wanted to play three, could not find my third, but the two actually worked out. And the siding patterns are very, very easy in this deck. You can side out three cards immediately. Um, you can take out one Borga, one Caesar Valius, and one Snow Devil and put three cards in instantly without even thinking about it. And then there's lots of room for other things. You can take out the Bistios, for example. So the side is very, very flexible in this deck and very, very um, important. But that is it, ladies and gents. Like I said, it's a work in progress. If there's anything that you feel like I should include or should think about within this deck, definitely let me know. Obviously, I'm still refining it. I want to take it to Nats. I still play this deck. I love this deck. Um, I don't actually mind losing with this deck because I just enjoy playing it so much. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of my, my, my top decks, like I mentioned earlier. But we find ourselves at the end of another video. If you do like this content, you know what to do by now. Hit that like button share subscribe all of that beautiful good stuff and i will definitely definitely see you guys on the next video hope you've enjoyed peace